So here to talk through this easy Machu puzzle by Tom Collier called Diagonals. I'm going to start with these black cells that are near edges that have lines segments you can draw in. And these are often on the diagonal clues touching to white cells and forcing straight segments here. So this is going to force some quick turnaways, making sure that the blacks have two cells to move out after they turn. It's going to set up new black cells that now have no option. For instance, this can't go to the right, so that's kind of left. That's another white that forces this section up. So you got some of these starts coming through. Uh, this was on an edge and now it can't come up, so we can put this in. This is now a white cell that has to turn. We have uh, this black that can't come up, so it comes down. It's touching to a white now, so it puts this in. This black was just crossed and it's touching to a white diagonally. So this is a great reuse of this diagonal rule everywhere across this puzzle. If we come from this right corner, we're going to see these ends can't touch to each other. So these look like they come down, this comes across, this comes up. We get this set in place. These ends now don't have other options to go. We don't want to close these off. This is actually all part of one big loop, so we don't want to close these off either. So these come down here. And we don't want to close the lower right off. So we actually end up using, as a hidden theme in this puzzle, all of the cells. So thanks, Tom, for this great puzzle to start the week. Hopefully you got something from seeing this video and how the diagonal black and white clues have a lot of logic that come through them. You'll see this pattern in much harder puzzles, so maybe keep it in mind for the future, and we'll see you again soon.